indisputable exclusive. All right, police harass a woman, the son is recording, has no reason to be in her home, doesn't care, and they decide to do this. Here it is. So when y'all go over there and talk to him about his reason, do y'all ask him for his ID? Yeah, and he provides it. No, y'all do not. I'll be sitting right here watching. Nobody yeah. asking for I'm his not, ID. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you either. I'm not giving you no. I'm going to jail. Yes. If I don't provide my ID. Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll do it. I'm not giving you my ID. Right, turn on for change when you back. This is ridiculous. Hey, turn on for change when you back. You're under arrest. I need to put my shoes on. I don't. I didn't ask. Uh, Wait a minute. Don't you put your hands on hey, me like hold that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 hold on, 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 calm down, please, everybody, please, calm down, please, Ma, everybody, calm down, please, Ma, please, Ma, just give him, Ma, just give him your ID, Ma, please, Ma, Ma, please, call, Ma, 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 no, 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 it's okay, Ma, it's okay, it's okay, Ma, it's okay, Ma, it's okay, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, I'm recording, 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 it's okay, Ma. It's okay. 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 I have more video. This is in clear violation of Alabama law. Yes, this was in Alabama. Put up the picture full mass. I'm going to explain part of this and then take you to the next video. Per a press release from the law offices of Attorney Harry Daniels, the town of Andalusia, Alabama, and its police department are under fire after attorneys for the 40 year old Twyla Stallworth, that's who you saw in the video, released a video of officer Grant Burton shoving Ms. Stallworth into her own couch, forcefully arresting her in her own home, keeping her locked up for 15 hours after she legally refused to provide ID in her own home. There's more. During the incident, Stallworth's son asked the officer about the statute. He is saying, sir, what law did, did she break? Here it is. Hey, dude, that. I wasn't attacking you, by the way. You know that, right? You put your you hands on my you son. Yeah. You put no, your hands I mean, on my son. Ma, it's OK, my honesty. I understand you put your that. Hands on no, I wasn't son. attacking you. You're good, bro. I, I, do natural, I mean, that's a, that's a natural reaction, no, you know what I mean? Hey, dude, before you take her away, no, before friend. you take her away, why are we taking her away? Oh, she's right now. She's under arrest for failure to identify. So is this actually in Alabama? Is, I had to give you my is this actually in Alabama law? state law? That is not the law. That's against the law. Because I, I want to, I want to actually see this law in play in action. Statute? Yeah. yeah. yeah Pull it up. Fifteen five thirty. Fifteen five thirty. Yes. Sir. Law enforcement official can request your name. Explanation of his actions. I don't see where it says anything about an ID. It says your name, address, and explanation of the She was she to identify, but ID. I mean, it doesn't specifically, you know, say not, an not, ID. I know, but I'm not gonna argue with you either. All right. Thank you. That makes logically that makes zero sense, dude. Young man, I hope you become an attorney. Uh, you are correct. <clears> or <throat> your reading of the statute, uh, the officer is incorrect in the reading and the implementation or execution, and I think intentionally so. Um, if you remember, Attorney Harry Daniels also represented the pastor that we have on the program who was arrested by Alabama police for watering his neighbor's flowers by request of his own neighbors, all right? Uh, the attorney, uh, the office also notes from the Harry Daniels law firm, uh, the case bears striking similarity to the case of Pastor Michael Jennings, who made national headlines in 2022. We interviewed Mr. Jennings right here and featured on Indisputable uh, he was arrested in Childersburg, Alabama for watering his neighbor's flowers. Once again, Stallworth is represented by nationally renowned civil rights attorney and a dear friend of mine, Harry Daniels. Daniels also represents Reverend Jennings. He is one of the best civil rights litigators in this country. According to, it, to the attorneys, the incident began February 23rd, 2024, when Ms. Stallworth called the police multiple times to do one thing, complain about the neighbor who was playing loud music in the neighborhood. 
getting no response, Ms. Stallworth decided to set her car alarm in an effort to get the neighbor's attention to convince them to turn down the music. Kind of nuisance on nuisance action happening. While the police failed to respond to Ms. Stallworth's complaint, they did respond to the neighbor who called to complain about her noise. Frustrated because Officer Burton threatened to cite and arrest her for the car alarm, but did not say anything to address her multiple complaints. Stallworth pointed out the disparity as Barton, the officer, was returning to her uh, police cruiser, suggesting it was racially motivated. Um, Stallworth is black, while the neighbor playing the loud music is white. At that point, Officer Barton returned to the front porch and began demanding that Ms. Stallworth uh, present her identification, even though he had not made any such request prior. That's when Stallworth's 18 year old son began recording the encounter with his phone. Smart man. The video shows Ms. Barton threatening, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the video shows Officer Barton threatening to arrest Ms. Stallworth for failing to present identification, despite the fact that state law only requires a person to do so when they are in a public place. Your home does not qualify as the public. When Ms. Stallworth goes back into her house in order to put on some shoes, Officer Barton forcefully enters the home, shoving past Stallworth's son and grabbing her by the arm in order to handcuff her. Officer Barton continues to escalate the situation despite the repeated pleas of the son for everyone to calm down and even show and even shoves Ms. Stallworth into the couch despite the fact she was unarmed, had offered no aggression and was not a threat to the officer or anyone. The officer eventually arrested Ms. Stallworth, charging her with obstruction, resisting arrest, and they also charged her with attempting to elude, okay? Attorney Daniel said of the incident, quote, never mind that Officer Barton needlessly escalated the situation, forcefully entered Ms. Stallworth's home and physically assaulted her over a noise complaint. Never mind that he arrested her for exercising her constitutional rights. And never mind he that he misquoted a law that doesn't require a woman in our home to present an ID. He was leaving. He was walking back to his car, ready to drive away, right until she called out his racism. Calling out racism is not illegal. Using your badge to intimidate a 40 year old mother is, end quote, attorney Harry Daniels. Put up the police chief of this police department. His name is Paul Hudson on the left, Officer Barton, May 2021. That's his picture, recent graduate at that time of the Alabama Advanced Criminal Justice Academy. Um, it's a damn shame what you did, sir. And you have the weight of the justice system upon you now because Harry Daniels, well, his law firm and his team, they are heavy hitters. Um, and to the family, we're going to continue to follow this story. Um, we hate this happened to the mother. Sorry that the son had to witness it, but the son did one of the greatest things he could have done. He preserved the record. Yes. He preserved the record. All right. Okay. Thoughts? Yeah, no, I just, just uh, to echo that. I mean, the fact that the son, and this is, I think, black Americans in, in this country, when they are faced with violent law enforcement, um, they are always the ones that have to maintain calm, right? It's not the law enforcement, it's not police. Who are ever maintaining the calm? When are you ever seeing cops de-escalate a situation with Black Americans who are unarmed? No, they escalate it, and so it is on this 18-year-old kid calmly asking, as his mom is being manhandled and yeah. like, you know, hurt and being arrested for no reason. Who's like, hey, just by the way, I mean, it's all good. He was like, yeah, it's no, no, take my mom away. But like, by the way, right. is this legal? You might want to rethink this, you know? And he didn't even say that. He was super respectful. He yep. just wanted to know. Um, and I think that's incredible uh, show of courage and strength. But I mean, again, like this is again, lastly, the color line is always enforced by cops. So when a white neighbor versus a black neighbor, they both have noise complaints, you can tell, and it is very revealing 
which side the cop is going to come down on. Uh, and that speaks to the origins of policing in this country in the first place. Very sad, but also very true. Naturally, we will cover this until completion.